Hey everyone, it's Matinia from AffEngineer.com. The other day I released a post about the way I actually go about tracking my profit and losses. Um, there was three spreadsheets I used in the blog post. I was actually going to go through the Excel spreadsheet and show you how to update it. What I'm going to do is um, put a link in the actual post to download the spreadsheet so you can download it for yourself and you can tweak it to suit whatever traffic sources um, or teespring design designs that you guys have yourself so what I wanted to do in this po in this video is go through <coughs> go through how to do that so what I'll be give you, what I'll be making available to download is this spreadsheet over here yep this one here um, so we got the three spreadsheets, which is T-Tracking, um, we got the main spreadsheet, and the profit-loss spreadsheet. So the Teespring spreadsheet is for those that do a lot of, do a lot of Teespring. Obviously, if you've just got about three or four different designs, then um, you may not need this level of tracking, but I like to do this because sometimes I've got about 10, 20 designs going at any one time, sometimes even even 30 to 40 so um, now these are all made up all these figures are made up but say you want to um, so you've downloaded this spreadsheet but obviously these are probably not the same things that you guys are doing so say you've got one that is for what's a popular one keep calm right so say keep calm and you're doing it for engineer uh, keep engineer, doctor, nurse. Okay, so there's three there. So you can delete these. This is a. This is Open Office, by the way. So Excel should be a little bit different, but I'm pretty sure it's quite similar. So you can delete these rows, uh, and then uh, you you know you can update this to what's relevant, which is the third. So I'd say the third. Boom. Um. Like that. So say your first day you've sold two of them, two of them, three of those, right? Three delete. So this is already set up for you to um, calculate your profit and losses. So this is a this is the average profit that I'm going to make per tea sh sold. So I put it as twelve dollars. You can change this if you want. Say your tea is ten bucks, you can just change that to ten. So for the engineer share per tea sold you're making ten dollars profit you can change it to ten and that'll calculate twenty dollars for two shirts sold um, so say on the f on the fourth of this month your total sales for your engineer shirt is six so what I do is put the number six so what this does is this formula calculates this does six minus two so today's total sales minus yesterday's total sales and that gives that figure over here and then that this the figure four gets multiplied by your profit, which is here, and that'll give you your forty dollars, which is the profit, which is the revenue that you've made for the day. <clears throat> and all this gets summed up, and then come and then uh, gets totaled in this in this cell, and that's how I get my totals for each day. And again, do the same for the for the fifth. You don't have to. I'm not going to keep doing it, but you get the idea. Say you want to add row six. Uh, sorry, say you want to add another set for the sixth. So what, what I do is I, I highlight these, press Control C, left, uh, right click on the, the next cell or the next column, and then all I do is just paste. Right? You may have to set this the formulas up again, so I just obviously there's no formula in here because this is ma the manual input but this cell should be this cell minus the day before it and this one should be that minus that so what I can do is probably lock that cell as A7 so now when I copy that Should be that times two 
times that. Yeah. So, so basically, all you got to do is just copy, paste, and, and then obviously change the date. So sixth, seventh, and then just update the the grey columns. So say on the sixth, you've sold fifteen engineer shirts. So it's going to calculate seven. And then on this day you've done 20, it's going to calculate 5. So you can go ahead, keep doing that, insert each row and, and the different types of shirts you're selling. So that's the T tracking shirt. Now the main spreadsheet is pretty simple. You can delete all this stuff. Um, say you're working with different networks, you can just simply add one. Just insert column, uh, insert for max bounty. Um, uh, um, again, you can do the same for costs. And all I do is every day I go through, I, I log into each of these networks, um, all the traffic sources, and I see how much I've spent for the day or made in the day. So I'll put 20 bucks spent there, maybe $30 spent for Google, another 20 bucks spent for Bing, maybe I made $50 in revenue in Teespring, 50 50 So it's going to tell me I made $100 in revenue. And I've spent seventy dollars in costs, and it's going to minus the the revenue. Uh, sorry, the cost from the revenue, and it's going to give me thirty dollars profit. And then that'll give me forty two point eight six percent ROI. And then that gets automatically. So the data in this spreadsheet is set to automatically populate this because what I've done is I've I've um, connected these columns, so these four columns, I've connected it to that and these three. So whatever you fill in here, it's automatically going to spit this out for you. So this should be all automated. Um, if you're kind of running out of dates and you need to add more dates, or so you change this and the next day is the 19th of the 9th, you'll have to add more rows and simply drag more drag that that to the bottom and make sure this is and make sure that is set to add all the rows um so we'll drag that there we'll drag that there yeah so that's doing that because it's picked up because you need to do the same here right so So you can just drag that here and then drag this one across up to there and then that should be set automatically. Cool. So that's how you kind of tweak this to, s to give it what you want. Um, with Teespring, add your shirts or your designs for the main spreadsheet. Just insert, you know, click on any, ro any column, right click and insert column. And then you can rename that. Um, so we just, I added the, this max bounty column, but this is set to just pick up these two. So to change that, we need to go equals sum, and we need to make it from G4, G4 to I4, before it was G4 to H4, so I4. So that's going to pick up max bounty as well. This, everything should be set now. Okay, so that's it. Everything should be perfect. So yeah, pretty straightforward. I'm going to put this spreadsheet for download um, in Excel format and download it and use it to track your track your um, numerics. I look at this spreadsheet every day. I update this maybe once in three or four days. Um, so I try and look at this pretty often. Obviously, this doesn't get updated until this gets updated. But as long as this is all in green, then I'm I'm pretty happy. Anything, any any days where it's a negative, I'll click on the cell and and make the font negative. Um, and you know, for the if I'm going on a negative trend, then I'll start to become a bit more conservative with my spending. If I start, if I see a positive trend, then I'll start investing more money. So I don't spend that much money. The I mean, I don't spend too much time kind of looking at this stats. I just use it to give me the information that I want. And the main focus of my business is actually spending time building campaigns. Numeric tracking and all that kind of stuff is good, but you don't want to be spending too much time into this stuff.